<laughs> Bye. You are nine. I'm one, so it's okay. Uh, I hope you liked the the music, the background uh, music in the in the intro. And uh, okay, sigla. Okay. Well, so <laughs> I don't say, I don't know what to say, but welcome to Master Program by Italo Deviants by Marcello Giordani. If someone don't know me, uh, I'm a DJ since 28 years ago. I'm a um, records collector basically dance music italo disco disco and, and uh, disco stuff um yeah i started a blog in 2008 called italo deviants and uh, it was basically um a blog where uh, in the, during the blog era no where uh i used to rip my my records on mp3 and give it for free just for let the people discover this music because at the time was not uh, well known. Mm, actually, also I also discovered uh, this this kind of music very late around um, uh, 2001, 2000, 2001. I didn't know. I'm Italian, but I didn't know about about uh, this music uh, and um, when I was I, I used to go to the records fair in the um, during the 90s uh, looking for disco American disco records and um, and I remember that the the dealers records dealers at the fairs uh, had a lot of uh i remember the covers about full time records il discotto uh and many more disco magic remember the magician and uh it was shit for them because it was it italian sound it was cheap sound because maybe it's, it's a little cheap sound but um and i was looking for disco music the real the, the the new york disco the chicago disco so labels like sal soul west end prelude and stuff like that well and uh but i re i remember those boxes uh at the bottom un under the tables uh with very cheap price uh for example like 50 cents each and uh, and I started I started buying um, disco. Then it was uh, it was new for me discovering the the Italo disco uh, in 2000. So I went back to the to the records to the sellers, asking for do you have do you still have the, those records? Because I wanna trade with some disco I have. And uh, they say, ah, well, what, which, which disc, which, which records you have? So I remember I had uh, some good uh, disco, funk, um, jazz uh, records like Miroslav Vitus LP. It was very rare, very hard to find here in Italy before the internet era, before the eBay era, because 
I started before eBay, before and e many years before Discogs. Um, so I traded that uh, those records, those uh, disco bought on eBay in 2001, 2002, um, with with a lot of paid like two bucks, three bucks, and they traded for, for the Italo Disco. So that's why I have a lot of records, sometimes uh, rare and uh, very um, pretty expensive now because they didn't know. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's, 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 that's life. So um, I was was thinking about something okay let's um let's i i i see if i remember now let's listen to some records i have here natasha am
Ok. This was Natasha FM. It's a very cheap record. Wait, I give you the... Um, the Discogs link if you want to buy it. It's a che- very cheap. It's, you, you can buy it for 2 euro. I put in the chat. Okay, this is the, the link. Well, now what we have the club this is the Italian version but this is a French record with the melody coming from uh, Tangerine Dream and uh, I, I play this a lot uh, I play this a lot in the warm-ups uh, or in daytimes, afternoons, aperitivo and stuff like that I love it, it sounds great let's listen you will love it from 83 club.
You like it? Well, it's so easy to mix. The melody is great, and the mood is perfect for a warm up everywhere in the world, from from a club underground or um, a terrace in Bali or on a beach, also in Bali, <laughs> or. Um, Wow, it's super, a uh, great atmosphere. Uh, this is the link if you want to buy it on uh, Discox. Sei qua? In Italian is Sei qua, you are here. Uh, where is Lick Club? Lick Club. This is the link. Well, so let's change. Let's change. Let's put another French, French record. Um, no, no, it's not French. It's a French song, but is is Italian. It's actually from my own town, from this uh, small label uh, who released only two records, only only uh, two releases. Uh, it's called the Ten. 10 plus, uh, 10 plus, uh, 10 round plus, so something like this. Um, by um, Elio Conti is from from Italy, is uh, from my hometown, and uh, this is a, a cover of a French record, French pop record from '84, but I don't remember the name. I forgot to to check before before the show. But wait a second. I forgot to to check, but it's great. It's great, and I think a lot of people uh, know about about this. If you don't know, we have to buy it because it's another great record. It's it's slow uh, because from '84 Italo disco became very slower than before. I love. I prefer the uh, Italo disco from. 78 to 83 i will i will i will tell you that like 10 times every show that's my taste my taste it's the italo disco because i'm i'm i do a, i make a big difference before mm, wait a second i change camera because oh, okay um i make a big difference uh, between uh, the Italo disco from eighty, from seventy eight to eighty three, and Italo disco from uh, eighty four to eighty seven, because people say that Italo disco is finished. It was over in eighty eight, when the uh, here in Italy the nine oh nine was a drum machine was um, uh, the record were, were made more with the 808 Italo disco is more with other kind of drum machines like DMX, like Lindram, uh, 707, 808, uh, okay, and this. Well, uh, I, I lose myself. Okay, uh, let's listen to this Jolie. Mise au poids. Forty-five. It's a forty-five RPM from eighty-four. Enjoy, guys. Mm-hmm. 
It sure reminds me when um, I used to work in a radio back in the 90s. I was I was not a speaker, just a DJ for a very small radio in um, in my in Parma where I live. Uh, when I moved back after six years in Barcelona, <laughs> and um, yeah, well, uh, um, I love it. It's, good. it's nice. So, let's change record. This was Jolie from 84. Uh, 10 rounds more records by Elio Conti. What we have? This one. This one is bi bicycle song by Life Fashion is another production of um, 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 SP, SP, uh, Best Record uh, by Casalini, Stefano Zito, Favilli, the same guys who released uh, Casco, Cybernetic Love, BWH, Stop, music like that. 
the holy grails of Italo Disco. And uh, I discovered this actually very late because I found it in a second hand shop, mm, is a market, like a flea market, where I used to go for digging. Uh, and it's great. It's it's a bit cheesy at the beginning, but then when uh, the vocoder drops, it's a real killer track. You have to listen. Sorry for this mechanic. way of doing a live but it's this this um this show is is uh it, it's me listening to my records and you are listening with me so this is our uh dj a records collector or something or a music lover uh, a vinyl lover listen to records in in his house, in his room. So it's like this. It's not MP3. You can skip from one to another one. We have to take off the record from the from the from from the inner sleeve. The record from no, be, no, be more. You have to take off the cover from the transparent uh, plastic sleeve. Then take out the record from the inner sleeve. Then you have to take out the record from <laughs> from the cover. I don't I don't know if the if it was like that, but it's it's uh, you have to move three times to have this. Then you have to put on the fucking turntables, and you play the dub of bicycle song. The 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 title is very is ugly bicycle song there is also the the ring you know the, of the bi bicycle at one time but it's all this is like this they they used to put this <laughs> this these things and they ma making also ar very good arrangements and uh, very good sounds uh it's inexplicable <laughs> Wait, I clean I clean the needle. Old school. <laughs> bing bing. This is bicycle song. Okay, I give you the jolly link. This is jolly. And this is bicycle song. <laughs> Guys, buy the records, not not MP3, <laughs> buy records. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's not finished. Did you like the vocoder? You can listen here, the musician uh, are coming from, from the funk. These are all the funk funk lovers, like Rick, the, the rest in peace, Riccardo Cioni. That was live fashion uh, bicycle song. It was, wait a sec, I have to put this on. Uh, Okay, this was Bicycle Song by Live Fashion. And uh, guys, tell me if, if the sound is good, um, uh, the video doesn't skip, doesn't lag. Tell me something, give me some feedback about, about technician feedback, please. Thank you. So. Now, now this one. Okay, this one is never heard about this record before last year uh, because I'm more a, a real digger than a discox digger. I 
uh, everything I discovered, the 90%, is um, what, I, what I found in the flea markets and second-hand shop, shop here in Italy. Uh, then I stepped into, into this. Oh, wait. This is specular. Cono, Cleopatra. I don't have many information. No, no, not, not more than uh, what, what you can find on Discogs. This is a clear vinyl. Clear vinyl. Um, the label is the, okay, it's the American Records from, I think it's from Modena, but I'm not sure, where the first Riccardo Cioni came out. It's a kind of mm, Afro, Afro, African. And I, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't remember because when I talk with him, he doesn't remember the records he used to play, but I'm sure that this was played by Baldelli. Daniele uh, at Cosmic, uh, not at Cosmic, I don't know, because mm. there is not the, the year, but Cosmic closed in the 84. I think this one is later, like 85. But but he used to play f this for sure in the um, uh, Afro, Afro meetings around the, uh, around the Europe, here in Italy, or uh, remember Cosmic. Uh, etc. Uh, it's not my favorite record, but it's pretty obscure. N not many people know about that. So let's listen and you will tell me if you like it or, or not. We have three versions. We have um, the dance mix, the dance version is different from the dance mix, and the instrumental. Let's listen to the dance mix. Wow. 
to interact with me uh, is better guys if you connect to Twitch because uh, here I can see um, the Facebook messages I say ciao to Nicola Nico Bonandrini from Russia is one of the best DJ in the world I will I want to host him here for for a set he is he is one of it's his taste and his music and uh, he's a real digger uh, a lot of knowledge about dance music and not only uh, so guys I was saying if you want to interact with me in the chat you have to connect with Twitch because uh, I can just see uh, only see the Facebook messages and I can't answer uh, you have to to go on Twitch you make a free account and uh, so we can, we can, I, I can I can respond to to your messages to your comments uh, because yeah I see all you all of you uh, we are growing <laughs> this is the first this is the beta version we are lucky if we, we don't your computer won't blow up at the end of this uh, <laughs> and okay guys connect on Twitch so we can we can we, we can talk we can chat was Kono Cleopatra it's an African Afro Afro Italian I don't know how to define this well um, then we change with a classic we put a classic now we put bad passion by still mine you everybody know there is there is a good uh, a very nice repress on uh, on an Italian label uh, run by Paula Tape. She's a very talented DJ from Milano. Uh, but I don't remember the name. Uh, I will I will uh, I will give you I will give you the name of the label in the chat uh, when the record is playing. Okay, let's change it. I have an old chair, you can hear the noise. Thirty three Bad Passion by Simonetti. Simo Claudio Simonetti from Goblin. This is quality dance music my favorite
If you want to share the, the streaming, the live streaming on your uh, Facebook page or your Twitch uh, account, it would be great for me in order to reach more people <laughs> and uh, having more fun all together. Here we go. Okay, we don't need no comment for this because it's 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 a masterpiece. It's it's one of the of my favorite, and I think I don't know people that can say this this is not a, a good dance record. Okay, so <laughs> um, well uh, now now we put some some BPM more. 
and uh, I listened to another record. Uh, I tried to buy many times. It's cheap. I tried to buy many times, but I was never convinced. Then I found it in a in a wholesale, and I said, "Okay, why why not keeping it?" So I have it, and I play it for you. This is Roderick on a six safe six phases super stereo is uh, an Italian uh, label uh, that used to release uh, Italian music in the 70s like Poo the Poo one of the most famous Italian pop bands from the 60s and 70s the this is a a nice disco this is this is before before the 80s this is like 77 uh, but it it sounds very very actual uh, you can you you can put it in a in a set um nowadays easily mixing you can mix it w between uh, uh, early 80s music like from 80 also until 84 because it sounds very strong Let's put the instrumental. This is Roderick Loves OK. I put the link in the uh, Twitch, um, Twitch uh, chat. Hi to La Gigioia. <laughs> ciao, ciao, ciao.
Disco. Disco music. Super disco. This was Roderick. Uh, sorry guys, I forgot to put the um, the link. Okay, this is the link if you wanna buy it on Discogs. I think there is not the, um, um, a reprise. Okay, so this was Roderick from '77. It's an Italian disco disco music. Let's go with another classic and another classic from my hometown because. You have to know that Parma, where I live, it was the it's it's the town where Memory Records was born, where Cotto was born, where Kirli and Camera was born, and uh, a lot of sub labels with the super pu producer uh, Stefano Kundari uh, at Montello Studios. Montello Studios was a studio here close to. To Parma, actually, is is Reggio Emilia, but it's it's closer to Parma than Reggio Emilia, and uh, where also Ivana Spagna uh, used to record, and um, it was it was nice. It was nice to uh, that 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 part of uh, in in a very small in a very small uh, area uh, here like parma uh, a lot of was born a lot of good music and uh, there are a lot of nice uh, nice people where i had the opportunity to to talk and uh, yeah this one is caught on frando maiola also from from parma and uh, he is now not not in a very good shape, but his music is great. The Koto music, it's I I call Koto like proto house. It's house music from '83. Okay, it's it's something. It's some they really uh, really made this shit years before. Others not not be because they were the better, but <laughs> because maybe they didn't have a lot of um, a lot of um, resources uh, music-wise. Not music-wise like the taste, but music-wise like the uh, technically about synthesizer. They made literally all this stuff with three scenes and one drum machine. So I will I will tell you later what uh, Anfrando Maiola, the producer of of Cotto. I take the record. On Cellophane record, uh, when I asked him about what wh which way which way you you made the bass line, he told me it was half. Uh, 303 Roland and half another uh, bass from from another synth. I don't remember what uh, wha which one. Okay, let's listen to this. It's a uh, it's one of the top ten uh, Italo disco ever because everybody love Cotto and uh, I love Cotto. I love Anfrando. I love these guys that made really 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 great uh, they contributed to to create a sound and uh, all the producer in the world should take the hat off with this Roland 808.
can you hear? Like, like the always deep, deep disco. Elementor. It's it's basically a loop with bass line and and drum machine. Nothing nothing more. Let's put some sound on it. The end can be a result a little bit boring okay <laughs> let's take it off but if you like italo disco you have to you have to buy it you have to have it it's cheap i give you the link Koto. Koto. Okay. Let's put something. What? Yeah. Okay, another one. Another another classic not not classic like like Cotto or or uh, bad passion but for me is a classic for me this um, uh, San Lachan catch it's uh, electronic disco from Venice uh, by Franco Skopinic and Venice uh, from super radio records they they build up this label in uh, in the early 80s uh, I made an interview with him on my blog, Italo Deviance, back in 2009 or, t- or 10, and uh, it's it's the it's the typical sound I try to emulate in my in my records because it's they they use you you will listen they they use this uh, bass line it's a kind of hardcore trance bass line. <laughs> Uh, very distorted with a lot of distortion and LFO uh, it's moving a lot uh, you should listen to it you should listen you will listen because I'm playing it this one it's a um, red vinyl okay th- that's finished with I never Listen until the end, it's finished with a delay. Okay, San Lashan, Sun Lashan, I don't know. It's this one. Red vinyl. There is the the dub version and uh, the catch version. Let's let's put the the dub version. 
It starts with uh, it's kind of 808 show because it starts with the kick drum uh, and the claves, the 808 claves uh, that I love because it's they make a, a real groove, a groove uh, the groove I like. Now let's put the catch version because I usually play the the dub version since this is a show where also it's an opportunity for me uh, for listen to my records because I have many and uh, collected during a lot of years in 25 years and uh, I forgot or I've never listened to uh, to to many versions. Uh, so normally I play the version I, I know and I love, I like, and uh, but sometimes I listen the B side or the A side and I discover that it's better than the other. So I don't remember the catch version, so listen to this. Techno. Thank you. 
This, these were like two one of the my favorite tracks from from Gazebo. Gazebo, it's uh, Paul Mazzolini. It was an he's an Italian. It was he's an Italian uh, born in Beirut in uh, Lebanon, but uh, he moved with in in in, uh, in Rome with her, his family when he was like five or six. I don't know. Um, okay, everybody know, knew that uh, this music, of course, because if if you're not, you can you can live the the life now. So uh, let's go with something very different. It's not it. It's it's go over. It's um it's disco. Uh, it's Canadian Italo disco. Uh, from one of my favorite, one of my favorite um, producer ever. It's uh, Bobby Orlando. I love him, and uh, I I found this. Freedom in unfree world, by Bobby O. Bobby Orlando, and. Uh, I found here uh, a track I've never heard from him because maybe it, it was m it's, it's my fault because I I didn't uh, um, I didn't dig uh, deeply <laughs> in uh, his catalog and it's called German Girl German Girl this one is uh, is a ty typical Bobby Orlando with a uh, super punchy drum and bass and uh, but I really love the the chorus of the of, of the girls German girl German girl you will listen I will love it I don't suggest to buy this because this I found this on somewhere this is a one euro record uh, and uh, the sound is very bad it's not very bad it's because there are a lot of uh, versions on each side uh, the groove is very is very tight so it's, it doesn't doesn't play doesn't play really well i i have to to check if the, if there is the, the the 12 inches of this of german girl i will buy it for sure it deserves also a good edit uh, listen and and tell me
you recognize it. <laughs> beat sounds so clean. Guys, please, if you want, Share my, share my live on your Facebook contacts and uh, on, if you have Twitch, on your Twitch. So it would be helpful for me for reaching more people and uh, having more fun together. Hey guys, this was Ego. Ego, Nego. Well, okay. I think something happened to the live on Facebook. Uh, okay, I, I don't know how to restart it. If you know how to do it, because now there is the... There is the recorded version i don't know and I, I don't know and i don't know why it stopped okay so uh well next one i'm gonna play a very uh a very obscure <laughs> tra track of this uh album from p lion wait a second Lion. Okay, you know Happy Children. Uh, this is uh, LP. Where there is Dream, Happy, Sweet Children, Happy Children, all 
classic Italo I really don't like. But I found this track is it's it's funny. It's not good but funny. I listened to it yesterday for the very first time because I I didn't know to have this record. It's a re also a little bit they have some scratch. Uh, it's not in very good conditions. It's kind of Vuji. Okay, let's try to listen to this Rubber Games by P Lion 84. Nothing particular, it's just a B side. <laughs> they didn't have other to do. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. Uh, I, I wanted to play this because I never, never listened to this. I'm. It's totally new for me. This this track. Uh, I think I won't play it live anywhere. But it's okay. Uh, let's go with uh, with the next one. <laughs> It's, there is everything here, the cobalt and the sampled voice. Okay, let's put this. This one is super good. This one... This one is... Uh, okay, there is... A, it's too bright. Okay, it's um, it's an Italian. It's it's from United States, but it sounds Italian, eighty three hundred percent. It's called uh, Crystallite cut by laser. I I write the the I write the um, the link in the chat, and uh, I really love it. It's from eighty eight, but it sounds like eighty three pure. <laughs> 